So guys, we have a ton of work to do. We just had a crazy week and uh, we had a lot of collections come in. Joanna's been working her butt off, but let me show you exactly what we're working with and uh, all the stuff that we need to get into this week. So here is our garage, our main shelves full of inventory right now. Joanna, she's got her foot up because uh, we had the little mishap a couple weeks back. So she's got her foot up, she's resting, and she's inventorying. So we had one collection right here come in, another large pop collection, which Joanna is working on at the moment. We have a soda collection down here that we still have yet to unbox. Um, hopefully there's some chases in there. We also have another big soda collection that came in that we need to inventory. We have, uh, it's kind of a mess right now. We have our... Uh, Little Freddy Pucks hanging out right there. We need to find a better spot for those. I also have some trades and some giveaways and uh, some patron packages going out. So shout out to all of the amazing patrons. Joanna was packing that the other afternoon. And then, yeah, here's our soda shelves. And then we also have another large soda collection that came in all packed with sodas and I think there's a lot of chases in there as well. So our garage is an absolute mess. Uh, thankfully, we just got the light fixed. So that was a big thing that we had to check off our list this week. But yeah, we're gonna get into these collections. We'll show you guys the highlights and uh, we'll keep going from there. So we just got done inventorying all the pops on this section of the shelves. So now we need to organize them into the different categories that we have put aside. So for instance, we have the Christmas Scooby-Doo right here, as well as the Huckleberry Hound. These will go in our Christmas bucket. And then for instance, down here, we have the Killer Clowns Jumbo, the Spirit Halloween exclusive. That one's gonna go into our Halloween slash horror stash for that auction coming up. A lot of Harry Potter pops that came in this collection. A lot of cool DC ones as well. These are gonna be perfect for our October auctions as we're going to do a big drive for breast cancer awareness. So anytime we get one of these pops in like the Superman here or the Harley Quinn, I think there's a few other breast cancer awareness pops back there. Those will be auctioned off for charity and uh, we can put those funds towards breast cancer awareness. And then down here we have some Marvel. These Marvel pops, of course, will go in our Marvel buckets. We got a nice Freddy right there. And then the Star Wars pops will also be stashed away for our May the 4th auctions. We're actually running out of room, so very much looking forward to our next house. For instance, right here, this is all Marvel. This is just a Marvel stash right here. And then coming on over here, like I mentioned, getting ready for our big Halloween slash horror show. We have this bucket right here, as well as this bucket. That's all packed we with horror pops. Oh, that's right, yep, that's right. We have some uh, Fright Night boxes. I think these are complete, or at least they have some pops in them. Um, this one feels kind of light, if I can get it open. All right, so there's a couple Freddies in there from uh from fright night but just to show you guys how bad it's actually getting so this is our guest bathroom uh no one's used it in a while it's looking a little rough but uh we actually had to stow our extra bins in here just because our shed is packed as well so we are running out of storage space but we love doing the themed auctions and we've gotten so much positive feedback so we're going to keep doing it so we got disney down there some star wars that we're sitting on and then another marvel bucket so now we have to stash away all of the themes that I just mentioned from that specific collection. Just took a break from inventorying pops for a minute and we cracked open this soda collection and we actually got in some really cool characters that you don't see too often, like this 4,000 piece Webley that was exclusive to the Funko Field game night they did last year. And then over here, we even have a 7,000 piece Scare Glow. I don't know where the other 6,999 pieces are because that soda is like impossible to find. We also have a 3,000 piece Spiker or Spike Or from Masters of the Universe. And then we also got a bunch of Freddies and even an original Big Boy from the Ad Icons line. So lots of great characters in this lot, but we still got many boxes to open up. All right, guys, so it's the next day. We managed to get all of these pops inventoried. So we know all their values and everything, but now we have the tricky game of shuffling everything around by theme before we start to input all of the pops into the app for sale tomorrow night and every single other Monday night. So up here, we've allocated room for all the sports pops. We have some other miscellaneous pops. We haven't decided where some like the uh, the Royals line is gonna go. Um, up here, we have a ton of Harry Potter pops. We have to figure out where to put those. 
down here we've decided we have all of our movies pops and then we have ad icons we actually got a couple cool ones like check out this one super underrated glow in the dark cosmic captain crunch Look at this and then mustache. yeah we also just got this one in for the first time julius pringles how amazing is this one? Look at his mustache, super awesome. We got all the Slurpee Pops, so that's fun. This whole shelf is rocks. We haven't had this many rocks pops in the house in a few months, so that's pretty cool to see. And then down here, it's a little bit of a mess because it's all DC. I'd be lying to you if I said we didn't have this many DC Pops before, but we've had a lot of DC Pops before. This is not an unusual problem. Uh, we get in a lot of DC, we sell a lot of DC, we love DC, but uh, we often have tough times finding room for all the DC Pops. Like, look at this one, Rose Wilson with that OG Toys R Us sticker, super cool. And then down there, Joanna is working on, what do you got, gaming Pops over there? Games, yep. Nice, so it's a constant shuffle with all the shelves, and and then uh, over here we have some other miscellaneous categories that we haven't figured out where they're going to live yet. We have some really big grails too, like this uh, STCC Conan O'Brien just hanging out. We still have to inventory this soda collection and that soda collection. Made another bucket here. This is all Halloween slash horror pops for our big show coming up at the beginning of October. That one's pretty cool. And then down there I have another marvel bucket all ready to go and then i need to go find a home for these star wars pops so still have a lot of work to do um it's what like four o'clock in the afternoon still got a couple videos to film so we got we got a lot of work on our plate um just cleared off this shelf so we may have to move some of the tv pops or another category over here so We'll keep you guys posted, of course, as uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying our weekly Funko vlog. So it is Monday night, about an hour and a half before we go live on Whatnot, and the garage looks completely different. We got everything cleaned up, just vacuumed, cleaned off this table. If you guys recall, this table was a disaster not too long ago. We got every single pop, over 350 pops into the app. We have them all sorted over there by theme, and and then coming around here on this other side, there's Joanna, we have uh, the anime pops and the gaming pops and the oversized pops. There's all our sodas. We're not running sodas tonight. We have some of our bigger items already put up in the buy it now. Tonight's auction is unofficially sponsored by Duncan, just like every single Monday night. We got our pile of giveaways right there, and we've actually already sold some pieces prior to the show starting. So we sold this rocks pop right here. We also sold this really cool Imperial Palace metallic blue Batman. One person reached out to us and asked for a bundle of some baseball pops, which we were very happy to put together for them. Very cool. Shout out to the baseball pops, man. They have some really cool molds, very different for each player, unlike hockey where they're just standing there. We also sold this set of the Barney and Fred Flintstone with their water buffalo hats. So that's awesome. We also sold this Gilmore Girls pop to our good friend Sidekick Inc. And then we also sold Yakko from the Animaniacs to our very good friend Wayne. So very cool. Thank you to everybody who's pre-purchased an item prior to the show starting. But we are going to do our final preparations here for tonight's show. And uh, we'll give you guys an update after the show. So here we are four and a half hours later, almost 200 pops sold. Absolutely crazy. We already got them all in protectors, all tagged with the uh, people who bought them. Uh, plus it's in alphabetical order, which makes it very easy for us to pack the boxes when we're searching for the names and these specific orders. So um, amazing stream. Uh, awesome pop auction. So thank you to everybody who came out and purchased something. We had several people buy multiple items. Uh, my man Bruce here looks like he bought like 10 or 12 pops. Alex is here. Alex, we had a great show. He's like, yeah, I, um, do you want to go outside? What is that? Is that what's going on? Alex always rushes down here when we're finished. Cause he's like, Hey, it's time for the attention to be turned to me, but yeah, we'll get him outside. 
we'll get them walked and everything. So yeah, huge show tonight. Thank you guys so much. Definitely made an indent on the shelves, which is perfect because we have more inventory on the way. Cleared out that whole shelf over there. Joanna did a good job. She's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> she did a fantastic job, but uh, we'll be back. We got another auction this upcoming Saturday with I think sodas. I'm in the same spot that I was earlier <laughs> today. You might have been. Yeah, it's been a crazy day. Oh, Alex would like attention. Do you want to go outside? Let's go. Let's go outside. What? You got something to say? <laughs> what do you want to say? What do you want to tell the people? I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to her. <laughs> you outside? Let's go. I know, I know, we're going, we're going. I know, I'm coming, I'm coming. All right, we're going to take care of Alex. We're going to go have some dinner, but another hugely successful auction. So thank you to everybody for supporting us. It truly means the world. And we'll catch you tomorrow when we pack everything. That's the other fun part of selling. All right, guys, so just getting home from work. Hey, it's Alex. Hey, Alex, how are you? Enjoying the day? Hey, Hey. How are you? Oh, man, I see you've been hard at work. Only a little bit, only a little bit. Uh, I told you to take it easy, but. I did, look, I saw my crutch, I'm taking it easy. <laughs> you did, oh, man, you did a lot of boxes. Wow. All right. Got almost everything packed. I don't want to show off anybody's addresses, but it looks like she got most of last night's auction packed. You got a few more over there? Yes, the patrons. Nice. Well, I typically tell Joanna to take it easy, and she clearly doesn't listen. So thank you again to everybody who picked something up last night or this past Monday night. And, uh, I should be able to get everything shipped out today. I'll drive it over. I see. Um, yeah, we missed the mailman already. So. Yeah, I see you got more boxes in one of these awesome mail bags that they give us, which is always great. Alex is trying to escape. Don't run away, Alex. But yeah, all right. I guess uh, I got some work to do and uh, let's get these boxes out of here. All right, so I just got all the boxes dropped off and Joanna and I spent most of the day packing. So now I need to go home and film some videos. So that's what we're gonna be doing next. And then we still have those soda collections that we need to inventory. Probably we'll get to that tomorrow. All right, guys, so it is Thursday evening. I just got home not too long ago and we finally managed to inventory those, what I thought was gonna be three, turned out to be four soda collections. And what's crazy is this collection is all chases and this is the most chases that we've ever gotten in one collection before so i thought it was pretty cool to show off we got some really interesting ones like auto here and that one is actually the purple auto and then we also got where is it oh the three caballeros donald duck in here in case you guys don't know auto and donald here are one of two sodas to have two different chases. So this one is the Jose chase, one out of 1,250 pieces. So that is what he looks like, pretty awesome. And uh, we even got one of the NFT sodas. This is the Witch Doctor, limited to only 1,550 pieces. I don't remember exactly what he was limited to, uh, but we also got some cool Freddies in this collection. So this one was amazing. The other three collections we've already worked into our inventory. We actually got so many sodas in that we had to once again to expand over to this shelf. We even got some three liter sodas in. These are just commons with the Evil Queen and the Maleficent as the dragon. And um, yeah, some, some pretty cool ones for sure. We haven't seen Grumpy Bear in a while. Um, got some other characters. Oh, uh, Alfredo Laguini. He is a really cool soda and he sells very quickly. We have a hard time keeping him in stock. And then over here, we actually restocked our fridge over here. And in our fridge, whoops, we uh, actually keep some of our harder to find sodas, some of our Freddy's and uh, some ones for our big Halloween show coming up. So pretty awesome stuff. Um, we actually just got in another pop collection. So that's what these three boxes standing here are with Joanna's crutch just hanging out. So I'm gonna need to inventory those uh, probably tomorrow, tonight. I have to film a couple more shorts 
and we have Pop Force One. So I got plenty on my plate for this evening. But yeah, that's going to do it for all the soda collections, which is great because here is our soda shelves. And uh, we always have a great time auctioning off sodas. And we'll be doing a huge soda chase game this Saturday night, which I'm very excited about. So it's Sunday afternoon. Last night we had a very successful soda stream if you guys remember i had all the chases along the back wall where we had a big soda game we did our beat the odds soda game with 60 sodas last night <laughs> joanna's ducking down so you guys can see all of the sodas that we sold and it's crazy because we were live for like three ish hours we sold these 60 sodas from the game we sold those two three liters back there we sold a few commons here that looks like what is that five times three another 15 commons and then we did some giveaways and we didn't even put a dent into oh, our current inventory. Oh, that's right. We did sell some soda bundles, which was awesome. So thank you to everybody who came out and purchased a soda or multiple sodas for their collection. Congratulations to everybody who pulled a chase, or we even had some people pull multiple chases, which was awesome. Um, we still have one three liter left. That is my extra evil queen from the soda short that I did the other day. And then um, I think that's it for the remaining open three liters that we have to sell. Um, of course, we still have some sodas left here on our soda shelves, but now since it's Sunday, Monday night is our typical uh, auction night. So we have these two giant pot boxes that we need to inventory. Normally we would pack first and then inventory, but since I have to work a very long day tomorrow, we want to make sure that we get some of the pops inventoried. I actually have two more boxes over here that are part of that collection. Those are not gonna make the cut for this week, so those will have to wait till next week. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna inventory these. I have no idea what's in here, so we're gonna pull out some cool stuff hopefully and find out. And then we still have all of these pops remaining that we're gonna run tomorrow night as well. So we need to clone those over and put them in the app. So it's Sunday afternoon and we have quite a bit of work ahead of us. And as we're going through the collection here, Joanna is actually taking out every single pop from its original protector that it came in. Some of the collections we get in the pops are in protectors like this. Sometimes they're not, but we actually go through the condition of every single pop. We look up the value. We verify that it's authentic because we do get in quite a few fake pops, unfortunately, these days, which is definitely a bummer. So we have to be very careful because there's we... a lot of sellers that have no idea what they're doing and they don't know how to spot a fake pop. Yeah, there's a lot of fake pops on the market nowadays. So we have to do our due diligence because we know people trust us uh, we have uh, you know a good name in the community that we want to uphold so that's why we do as much research and um, you know spend as much time verifying and authenticating each pop that comes into the house as needed so and we've even found some that were very very tough and if it's close and we don't feel comfortable selling it we will not sell it so um, this yeah, does take just extra ship time it back to the person if we can't confirm um, because it's like a really good fake or we just can't confirm then we'll just ship it back to the person and we say here you go yeah and as you guys see right now like joanna's folding up all the protectors and putting them in this box right here this takes a lot of extra time like this right here just that one box that we just unpacked unpacking each pop from its individual protector takes an extra 10 to 15 seconds per pop and then we have a massive amount over here like these are all protectors from incoming collections, which we do then reuse and put on the pops that we sell. Now, there are certain protectors that we will not use. Um, loot locks are absolutely terrible. They're all uh, usually broken by the time they get here. Some pop protectors are way too thick, so we don't like using those as well. Some are too flimsy. Um, some of the seven bucks a pop pop shield ones we found, they come broken usually now, which is a bummer if they've been circulating around the community for a, a long time. So um, we only use the protectors that we feel are good. So these are the best ones. Yeah, if we get in pop and duo pop protectors, these are without a doubt the best pop protectors on the market right now. So if you guys don't know our good friends, the pop and duo, they have a great YouTube channel. Just hit 10,000 subscribers. So huge congratulations to Brie and Vince. 
yeah, our entire, so all the pops in that room, which is a little bit of a mess right now, um, all the pops in that room and in our collection room, they are all outfitted in pop and duo protectors. So cannot recommend these enough. They um, don't have tabs, which is nice. They lay flat on top and they hold up throughout the, uh, the shipping process, which is very important. So we're gonna keep going here and pop all these pops out of their protectors. And then, we think there's some special goodies inside this other big box right here. All right, so we just got done unboxing this second box, and oh man, this is going to be a lot of fun to sell in a few short nights. So we have several amazing pieces that I want to show off. First off, this is something that's never happened before. We got in not one, not two, but three of these beautiful Freddy Funko as Bugs Bunny. And guys, the design on this one is so cool. Look how they put the crown on one of his ears. Just so freaking awesome. Here is the second one. <laughs> I can't believe we got three of them. This is so cool. And we have the third one. I actually have this one sitting in a box that I haven't opened yet for the channel. So this is my first time seeing this one in person and I cannot wait to add it to our collection. It's here. I just can't wait to put it on the shelf. And then we have several other NFT pops from that same Looney, or that, excuse me, that same Looney Tunes line. Here's Foghorn Leghorn. Look at the little cute guy he's holding right there. I'm sorry, I don't remember his name. Then we have Yosemite Sam with the bag of money. We also have Trinity here from the Matrix NFTs. That mold is pretty awesome. Then we also have, we'll, we'll show off that bad boy in a minute, but we also have this amazing 1635 piece Roadrunner from Looney Tunes. We also have the Wiley E. Coyote. This is the one of the bigger ones, the 999 piece grail right there. And then check this one out. This is old school Looney Tunes, 3,500 piece Speedy Gonzalez in the pop shield armor like it rightfully deserves. This thing is gorgeous. I have actually never held one of these in person before. We've seen it at countless conventions and comic cons and toy shows and stuff. But I might keep it. <laughs> oh yeah no oh, i was about to say i was like we like looney tunes but not that much <laughs> no, no um, we, absolutely not we also have the funko shop exclusive wiley e coyote here is peppy Le Pew from 2018 that one skyrocketed for a while there we also have the original daffy duck i think this is yep 2017 on that one so really really fun pops in this second box and then we also got in a random Future May signed Dragon Ball Z pop, which is great because people are always asking for Dragon Ball Z. So hopefully that'll be a signed pop that someone needs for their collection. So we're going to continue inventorying this one. I'm also really excited. This is actually a pop that I'm going to be keeping for my collection. So this is the Unmasked Metallic Captain America from 2014, I believe. Yeah, 2014 on this one. So I have it. I'm a giant Captain America fan, but I'm going to show you guys really quick why I'm going to keep that one and not the one that I currently have in my collection. So if you go over here to my Captain America shelf, the one I have that I've been trying to replace for several years now, the sticker placement is just a little off. So I'm going to swap it out. I'm going to sell this one and we'll probably sell it for under market value, of course, because of the sticker placement and I'm going to keep the other one. So that's great news that we finally bring got it. that one in. Bring it. Oh, bring it. Let me carefully see if I can take it down here with one hand. Hopefully. Yep. We can just slide it right there. And of course, this is our marble section of the collection, which we still have to do a full collection tour of. We've done Star Wars a few times for May the 4th, but uh, we have quite a few Marvel pieces that I feel like people would probably enjoy getting a close up of, but that's not today's project. Today's project is swapping out this Captain America really quick and finishing to inventory this second box. And when I tell you guys that we have pops, I mean, we have there's a whole bunch of stuff. All these boxes here are stuff that we need to, need to open up for the channel. So, um, yeah, Woo. a lot of stuff going on. But, yeah, we're going to do a quick Captain America swap and uh, super stoked to now have this bad boy in the collection with the proper sticker placement. This may be the most epic wall we've been able to create in quite some time. We have some amazing pieces up here. We have this original Sonic. Unfortunately, he is 
pretty damaged, um, but we priced them, we think, pretty fairly. I mean, everything we, we have uh, that's higher end, we try our best to, you know, price as fair and competitive as possible. You know, we want to see everything go to good homes and people that will enjoy these items. But the craziest thing that I still can't get over is the fact that we have three Bugs Bunny Freddies. Absolutely amazing. Got that Speedy Gonzalez still in the Pop Shield armor. Um, I need to update the soda wall and fill in those holes and everything. But I did just spend about two and a half hours putting in every single pop that you see here on the shelf. All the ones that weren't sold from the previous auction, I was able to just clone over, which is awesome. But I put in all of the sports pops that you guys see here. So that was a majority of my time spent. And then we actually just had a patron member just reach out and they asked if they could purchase the three Frasier pops as a bundle before the stream. And we were like, yeah, absolutely happy to do that so if anybody ever reaches out um you know feel free to do so if you see something that you would like even before our auction starts because like i said we want to see stuff go to good homes now i wanted to show this off really quick because uh we just filmed our monday video which most of you guys may have seen by now but check out the carnage from the video that we just did all these boxes just cracked open all of these amazing lounge fly bags and everything that anakin bag right there moana i'm not going to go into crazy detail but once again i want to give a huge shout out to steven g for sending over this amazing lounge fly freddy so pumped to be able to add that to the collection so shout out to you steven but yeah absolute craziness right now i gotta go edit that video and uh throw up a couple more soda shorts so they are ready to go for the week all right guys so it is monday afternoon i just got home and uh, i'm pretty fired up because we have already sold all three of our freddy funko bugs bunny pops which is pretty crazy so shout out to the three people that have already picked these up and we've also sold some other pops that i'm going to show off so check it out we also sold the roadrunner and daffy duck pops so all the looney tunes pops seem to be flying off the shelves uh we've actually already sold all these pops and the auction hasn't even started yet so uh, we're going to have to rearrange the wall here and mix in some other pops. And uh, I still got to fix the soda shelves over here. And uh, yeah, expecting a uh, another fun auction tonight. We have all these pops. Joanna did a great job. She actually got all the sodas that we sold the other night boxed up. And uh, they are in those two bags ready to be picked up by the post office. So yeah, we are cranking on all cylinders and looking forward to another great auction tonight so we are now post auction it's a little late night special joanna is even rocking her oh little grinch I can't outfit do this. I can't. Don't show me. <laughs> so freaking cute um it's a little bit later at night on tuesday um <laughs> i had a crazy day at work so i came home immediately and took a nap um, Joanna is actually coordinating a sale. Somebody reached out to us afterward or, or after our stream last night, and they're picking up the Jerry Rice and Richard Sherman pops. Very successful stream last night. Um, the wall has been emptied. These are all of the pops that we sold last night. We sold all of the NFTs, which was pretty crazy. So here's Foghorn Leghorn. We also sold the Yosemite Sam. Beautiful pops. Love the NFT boxes. Also sold a lot of uh, sports pops. All the football pops, for the most part, are gone, with the exception of a few. So uh, with NFL season here, a lot of people were requesting sports pops. Also sold a lot of Harry Potter pops, as well as some ad icons. And then um, here's all the Looney Tunes pops. Sold all three Freddy Bugs Bunny pops so quickly, which still just blows my mind. Um, so we got to pack all this stuff up tonight we do have an early morning pickup scheduled and then um, obviously our shelves look a little bit different because we are now getting ready for our halloween slash horror show which is going to be six days from now so next monday night so all these shelves are empty we got to bring out all of the halloween stuff that we've been saving there is all the pops that are left over from last night's show as well as the sports ones with the exception of jerry rice and richard sherman so 
yeah, we're going to be packing those up for a couple weeks. We're not going to be doing another regular auction until after New York Comic Con. We got our horror show next week, and then so does the following week, and then we're at New York Comic Con. So very excited for that. But guys, we got to get our tape guns and uh, we got to get packing. So to recap, last night, Joanna and I actually stayed up till four in the morning. We got all the boxes packed. And then we slept right through the uh, mailman coming to our house to do the pickup. So thankfully, uh, we caught the mailman the second time around and they were able to take out all the boxes. So all the boxes from Monday have officially been shipped. Uh, I just went to our P.O. box. I am amazed. I managed to fit two more pop collections and a massive soda collection in the car along with several Funko Shop orders, mystery boxes, and a whole heck of a lot of other stuff that got delivered. So just went to the P.O. box, and um, yeah, we're basically just repeating this process of getting in the collections, going through the collections, prepping for the auctions, doing the auctions, um, you know, shipping the items, well, packing and then shipping the items, and this is just a weekly cycle. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog to see some of the behind-the-scenes work that goes on with Slapshot Pops. It is a ton of work. It is exhausting, but... But I absolutely love it. Um, you know, Joanna wouldn't do it if she didn't love it. So very thankful to everybody who watches the channel, of course, and purchases something from our auctions. You guys have no idea how much it means to us. So thank you so much. If you guys want to see more vlogs like this one, make sure to uh, drop a like and let us know down in the comments section below. We have had a lot of people say they enjoy the vlog. So this uh, video hopefully gives you more insight as to some behind the scenes stuff that goes on with us. So with that being said, don't stop shooting until you score and we'll see you all very soon.